Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Phillip, and today I'm going to serve as your pilot and tour guide as we visit the Louisiana Swamp and Bayou. The Swamp and Bayou hold a very special place in Louisiana, both culturally and economically. Hence, the nickname of Louisiana being the Bayou State. Now, before we get started, please keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. And don't forget to subscribe to be a part of future aerial tours. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour. The word bayou originated from the Choctaw word of bayou, which refers to a small stream. Over thousands of years, outlets and inlets from the Mississippi River formed the Louisiana bayous. In total, Louisiana is home to 3 million acres of wetlands and accounts for nearly half of the continental United States coastal wetlands. The wetlands are very important because of their many utilities. That include buffering storm impacts, storing and conveying storm water, absorbing nutrients, sediments, and contaminants, maintaining high biological productivity and biodiversity, and serving as a nursery ground for fish and habitat for wildlife. Below is a bald cypress tree. The bald cypress is the state tree of Louisiana and played a vital role in its history as it served as the main source of wood for centuries. Bald cypresses are slow-growing, long-lived trees that can reach up to 600 years in age. However, the species is under threat due to lumbering, habitat loss, and pollution. Those dangling plants that are found on many of the swamp trees are called Spanish moss. However, they do not come from Spain, and they're not even a moss. It is a bromeliad, placing it in the same category as pineapples and succulent houseplants. While Spanish moss grows on trees, it is not a parasite. The plant lives off of rain, fog, and sunlight. Below is a shrimp boat. The fisheries of Louisiana are a vital part of the state's economy. One out of every 70 jobs in the state are related to the seafood industry, which as a whole has an economic impact of over $2.4 billion annually. Louisiana is the second largest supplier of seafood in the country behind Alaska. Many of America's favorite seafood options come from these waters right here, including shrimp, blue crabs, oysters, and, of course, crawfish. More than 1.1 billion pounds of fish and shellfish are harvested annually. As much as 16% of the nation's fisheries harvest come from the Louisiana coast and wetlands. Over 75% of Louisiana's commercially harvested fish and shellfish species are dependent on wetlands at some point during their life cycles. These swamps used to be the stomping grounds of Jean Lafitte, who was a French pirate and privateer in the early 1800s. Lafitte and his band of pirates stayed in the swamps, dodging the US Navy, while they intercepted ships, took their cargo, and sold it at illicit auctions. Lafitte stayed at odds with the US government until 1814, when a deal was offered. In exchange for helping to fight the invading British army during the War of 1812, Lafitte and all of his men would be pardoned of all their piracy. Lafitte accepted, and in 1815, he and his men played a major role in the American victory at the Battle of New Orleans, thus preventing New Orleans from falling into British hands. Lafitte's blacksmith slash bar still operates in the French Quarter to this day, and 
one of the largest swamps near New Orleans is named after him. Ahead is an American alligator, which is the largest reptile in North America and the state reptile of Louisiana, Florida, and Mississippi. The species has been around for an estimated 37 million years. An alligator can stay submerged for up to two hours. A mature alligator has 80 teeth at a time, but can go through as many as 3,000 in its lifetime. Their powerful jaws can shut with up to 2,000 pounds per square inch. The largest alligator ever recorded was measured at 19 feet 2 inches and weighed 2,000 pounds. Today's gators average between 8 and 12 feet in length, and their diet includes anything that can fit in their mouths. 300,000 wild and farmed alligators are harvested per year in Louisiana. Alligator harvests have a total annual economic impact of $100 million. If you would like to get close to one of these creatures, consider taking a swamp tour. I will leave a link to some tour companies in the description box. While the swamps are full of life, nobody has made a home on the bayou quite like the Cajuns. The Cajuns are descendants of French Canadians who were expelled from the Acadian region by the British between 1755 and 1764. They made their way to French Louisiana and have had an enormous impact on the culture ever since. Ahead is the capital of Cajun country Lafayette, Louisiana. Basically all of southern Louisiana is a region called Acadiana. In fact, the song you're listening to now is a music genre called Zydeco, which blends blues, rhythm and blues, and music indigenous to the Louisiana Creoles and the native peoples of Louisiana. The most known form of transportation on the swamp and bayou is the airboat which is a flat-bottomed watercraft propelled by an aircraft-type propeller. Airboats actually inspired the Higgins boat, which were the U.S. Navy's landing craft that were used in D-Day and the Pacific campaigns. More than 23,000 Higgins boats were built in New Orleans. If you would like to take an airboat tour, I will leave links in the description box of tour companies. While we know that the swamp and bayous are important for both the state and the country, unfortunately, coastal erosion has become a huge issue for the swamps and wetlands and the state of Louisiana at large. While natural causes have contributed, such as hurricanes, subsidence, and sea level rise, human activity in the past century has accelerated the problem. These activities include canal dredging, forced drainage of the wetlands, and the construction of massive levees. In fact, some estimates include that the state loses an area the size of a football field each hour. There have been efforts to fight this loss, including seed planting, marsh creations, and barrier island restorations. However, time will tell if this precious resource will be saved. If you enjoy today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, make sure to check out some of our other tours as well. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.